Hello my kings and queens and welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm so so excited to do this. If you have an iPhone, which I hope you do, cause I do, but if you don't, that's okay too ios 14 just came out like two days ago and i was so so ecstatic i saw a lot of people with the beta version and i was like oh my gosh these updates like double tapping the back so you can screenshot is crazy like what along with the update that happens a lot of people have been making their home screens and just their app screens look super super aesthetically pleasing based on their aesthetic and I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I made mine because I made this TikTok where I showed mine and a lot of people and a lot of the comments were like how'd you do that would you how'd you do it and instead of putting it on the TikTok I thought I should actually spend more than 60 seconds showing you guys how I made mine look how it looks so here's just a quick video of how mine looks I color coded mine by color my phone was already in color coordinated apps before but now that we can actually put pictures on it it's really really exciting I unfortunately did not make shortcuts on my apps which means that they could look like this just because I don't really like how that looks um, I like the apps looking how they look based on my color aesthetic so if you want to check that out I'm sure there's some video somewhere on TikTok where you can learn how to make yours look like that but mine are just let me show y'all how to do mine let's get into it <laughs> So the first thing that I did was customize this screen. This is the main screen. And basically, to do all of this stuff, you're going to need an app called Widgetsmith. To get Widgetsmith, all you have to do is go to your app store and then just type in Widgetsmith. This is how it looks. This is what is going to give you all of those cool effects that you can do. Once you download Widgetsmith, you're going to go to the actual app right there go to the app and this is how it looks now mine is gonna look different because I already have my app set up and I wish I could start with a clean slate but my apps took me so long to do so I'm gonna try not to ruin mine showing you guys how to do your own so with widget Smith you have the small square widgets and then you have the medium just long ways rectangular widgets and then the large ones cover up the main screen so just to show you guys an example of that this cereal right here is a large widget this small little rainbow thing in the top corner is a small widget. And then right, the clouds right here, that is the medium widget. So that's just how they look. What I did was I went onto Pinterest and if you wanna color code yours, then all you have to do is go to Pinterest and basically you search up the aesthetic that you want. So red aesthetic. And it gives you a bunch of pictures of red things that you can use. Say I want these roses. I click the dots down here and I hit download the image. And what you're going to need to do is every single photo that you save from Pinterest or Google or Instagram or TikTok or any pictures that you decide to use, you need to make them in their own folder. That's the only way they're going to pop up in Widgetsmith without randomizing your photos. So I click the share button, I scroll down, add to album, and then new album. And then I name it something easy so I can just find it easier so red roses and save it. So now it's in its own folder, back to Widgetsmith. So I go back to Widgetsmith and depending on the size of the widget that I want to make it, that's what I'll press. I'm gonna make it a small widget, so to show you that, but it works all the same. So click add a widget. It adds as a calendar at first. So you click the calendar and then it shows you this screen. You just click it again. Then it shows you the different options that you can make it. So calendar, um, reminders, the weather, your health, and then images. So you're gonna click photo and album. Then you press selected album so that box pops up. Now these are all of your albums that are in your phone. So you scroll down and I'll show you the ones that you've made. Obviously these are the ones that I have already. But boom, I see red roses right there. So I just click on that. The widget should be there once you add it. Um, you're gonna hold down one of your apps. I'm gonna hold down TikTok. And I'm gonna press edit home screen. This makes all of my apps and my widgets move. Basically that's, you know, when you have your phone, that's how you move your apps around. Um, I'm gonna click the plus at the top, scroll all the way down, widget Smith should be the bottom icon, click on it, and it asks you do you wanna add a small, medium, or large widget. Now, once you click it, your widget is gonna pop up black and white on the screen, and then to change it, you hold it down, edit widget, and then you can customize which one it is. I click it and it adds it. That's basically how I did mine. I hope this made sense. 
To you. To you. It is disrespectful to for you. one woman. Red. To you. It is disrespectful. To you. It is. First of all, it's disrespectful in general. To you. To you. In a simpler way, um, I can put the words, like the description of how I did it, so you guys can further understand it in the comment section. So check that out right down below. Like I said, it's going to be what I just did, but in actual words, so you can stop and actually do it yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed your new iPhone screens if you decided to do it. If not, that's cool too regular screen is perfect how it is but I'm really excited about this update just because I love organization I love artisticness so I really love how I was able to just customize mine and make it look however I wanted it to look and it's very satisfying and people are like oh my gosh you have so many pages to swipe through but honestly like I just do it well thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a big old thumbs up if you guys decide to customize your screens with widget smith make sure you send a video send a tiktok and tag me in it so I can see all of you guys' beautiful screens. I can't wait to see it. Super, super excited for that because like I said, I love this new update. There's so many cool effects that you can do on here that make it just so much better. Like what? Apple, give a thumbs up to my book. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, become a king or a queen and turn on your post notifications so you get a notification every time I post a video. Today's post notification shout out goes to you. Thanks for having my post notifications on. If you want a post notification shout out, like I said, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below when you are done and I will pick you for my next video. Follow me on Instagram at Sierra X Andrea. Also follow me on my makeup Instagram at C Makeup. And follow me on TikTok at Sierra X Andrea because those TikToks are lit. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!